Live, the news you count on. NBC2, News at 5. On a day all about flowers, today we're learning about a deadly disease killing Florida's landscaping favorite, impatience. They're under attack from downy mildew. NBC2 consumer reporter Elizabeth Billingsley explains. Cold weather, sir. Rosemary Edwards normally gets compliments on her garden. People usually go by and say, what do you do to your impatience? They're so beautiful. But that stopped last week when she noticed they were dying. Starting to look um, sparse, leaves coming off, just in general, not healthy. So today, ripped out from the roots, the only option for infected plants. This new disease is uh, decimating beds of our old favorite impatience. Horticulturist Doug Caldwell explains a water mold called downy mildew is to blame. It spreads with wind and water and landed in southwest Florida in the last few weeks. This disease thrives in cool, foggy night type of weather, which we've had a few of those nights. The infected plants will have a yellow or pale green color. They'll also have leaves that turn downward and whose undersides are white or have a light gray fuzz on them. Regular impatience, what we call impatience wallariana, are the only ones affected though. Grower Jim Hugh of American Farms says the pathogen could linger in the soil for years, but it's safe to replant any other plant than the impatience in the same soil. Even the New Guinea or Sun varieties of impatience or other flowers will work. And there's plenty of great choices. I mean, geraniums behind me, you can see uh, great colors. Uh, they hold up well and do well throughout our fall, winter, spring here. As for Rosemary's garden, I think I'm going to look at some alternative that is more permanent, something where I don't have to be replacing them every year because it's very costly. She envisions something more native next time too. In Naples, Elizabeth Billingsley, NBC2.